OK, we're going to do a quick reminder of addition and subtraction with decimal numbers. When we do addition or subtraction, what we're going to do is we're going to do use the column method to do it. And the vital, vitally important thing here is that we need to line it up so that the place values are correctly underneath each other. So you've got tenths under tenths and units under units, etc. And the easiest way to do that is just to make sure you line up the commas. And so, for example, if I put 42,57 like this, when I put the 3,600, I must make sure that the commas lie exactly underneath each other and then everything else will be lying in the correct place. Once I've done that, um, my subtraction is simple. What I say here is I've got 7 and there's nothing here in the hundredths place, so it's 7 minus 0, I get 7. And over here, I have 5 minus 6. This is bigger, so I can't do that subtraction. What I'm going to do is then go and take a one of those, bring it over to here, and it becomes 10 of them. So it's 15 minus 6, it's 9. The comma is there. Then here again, I'm going to be trying to do 1 minus 3, which I can't do. So what I need to do is I need to go and take one of these. So I'm left with 3. When it comes over here, it's a 10. So it's 11 minus 3, which gives me 8. And then lastly, I've got 3 here, and I've got nothing in the tens place here. So it's 3 minus 0, which is 3. And I get my answer of 38,97. OK, let's do addition now. I want you to try this one. 23,46 plus 38,8. Pause the video now, try it in your homework books, and then we'll go over it. OK, so you should have done the following. 23,46. And you want to put the commas in the same place. So it's 38,8 underneath it. And then the comma will come in the same place in the answer. So then we can do the addition. 6 plus 0, that's nice and easy, it's just 6. Here you have 4 plus 8, that gives you 12. So you put down a 2 and you carry the 1. Here you've got 8 plus 3 is 11, plus another 1 gives you a 12. So you again put down the 2 and you carry the 1. And here you get 3 plus 2 plus 1, which gives you, oh, give me a pen, uh, 6. So you've got 62, 26. And so our answer is 62, 26.